ladies, it's Tina here, and I have another um, project to share with you all today. Um, this one is an altered bottle that I did for the, um, this is for the One Little Dreamer, um, the blog, actually it's the Oktoberfest YouTube I guess she's calling it the YouTube blog hop. Um, but here are the different trims that I used from her store. This is the first one. Several of her trims. And then I use this one. I love that. That's so cute. Little chiffon trim with the little pearls going through it. Of course, this one is my favorite of all time. I've got to get some more of this because I'm very low on it now because I've used it on several projects, but that is just gorgeous. And it, as you can see, it is so sparkly. Ugh, beautiful trim. And then I use this. And this is not from um, Artie's shop. Um, can't remember where I got that, but it's from my stash. And this is my bottle. Now I got the inspiration from MS Garden Grove One. She did um, some bottles like this. So thank you so much, Annie, for your inspiration. Um, you inspire me all the time, and although my bottle is not as beautiful as yours, <laughs> I tried, <laughs> um, but anyway, this is what I came up with, and um, so I just layered the different trims all the way around the bottle, as you can see. This is a really small bottle. I picked this up at the um, one of my thrift stores. And I thought it was so cute. The top comes off of it. <laughs> um, and it was so fun to do. And then um, I draped the, um, the uh, trim. That beautiful trim like that. And actually I was inspired by Artie to do that. She did that on... I think it was a candle that she had altered. So thank you, Artie, for that inspiration. Um, so many of you ladies inspire me all the time. And I put some uh, more trim around um, the bottle here. And then I have some more trim here. And then the bottle had these little bitty um, sunk-in... I don't know, places around the lid. So I cut up this trim right here and put it in those little sunk in places. And that's pretty neat all the way around. And then you could still see part of the bottle. So I found some trim in my stash um, that was really pretty. It had some uh, satin roses on it. So I filled the places up that you could see. And then I placed a satin rose um, that you got that you get at Hobby Lobby and it has a little pearl at the top. So that's my bottle. It's really simple. Um, I'm gonna put something in here. I'm not sure what probably buttons or pearls or something like that. But anyway, so this is gonna sit on my shelf. And that's all there is to it. It was really, like I said, it was really simple. Um, came together really quick. And so this is my third and last entry, unless I can whip up one really quick <laughs> before Wednesday. I'll try my best. But um, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this challenge. Um, so thank you, Artie, um, and to all her sponsors. And the design team, you all did a wonderful job um, 
coming up with all your projects. I was inspired by so many um, different projects that you all had came up with. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's so many talented people out there. So anyway, um, go check out her blog. Um, I will leave the description um, or her blog link in the description box below. And thank you for watching and you all have a blessed day. Bye.